All right, guys, so I started this project off by acquiring a used microwave. I actually got this one for free, so you can't beat that price, right? Uh, but if you look at your local, like, Facebook or OfferUp, just find a used microwave. Obviously, free is the best price, but, you know, if you need to pay, like, a few bucks or whatever, you don't care what the microwave looks like, you just want it to work. And this is just a quick example. I'm getting ready to toss this. But I decided I would at least show quickly this uh, transformer unit is right here inside this particular microwave that I took off. So I just took off the outside shell of the microwave, found this unit, and then I just took it all off. We will be using this to build our Lichtenberg machine. All right, so we're marking the four points that we're going to put the legs in for the feet. It's doing inch and a half by inch and a half. Okay, so for the feet we're installing, we're gonna do a hole just a little over three eighths on these four, so we can install this. Okay. Just keep repeating until it fits in. Always a good idea to deburr once you finish filling the metal. So the last step of the feet, just slide it in, flip it over, screw it on. All right, there we go. Feet are on. Box is almost done. <laughs> uh, the box is coming together. All right, so you can see as we go along, here's a mock-up of how this will be set up. Something like this, and the next we're going to work on tapping the hole. That's going to allow the power to come in, and we'll do that next. All right, so next we're gonna tap in the hole for power, and this is what we're gonna run it through, and measurements, we're gonna, this box is 12 inches, so we're just gonna do right in the middle at six and go up about an inch, just so it's close to the bottom. Okay, so we put in a seven eighths inch hole, and now we're gonna go ahead and install Now we're ready to go ahead and run our power cord through, and tighten it down. like that, leaving a little excess. It's always good to have extra. And we'll tighten it down, move on next step. I'll show you a little trick. These are a little too long for us. My buddy Jason knows all the tricks of the trade here. Choose out the length that you need. And now you got a shorter one. So we're working on the electrical and so we're using some terminal blocks as we've stated in other parts of the video You could always just use wire nuts. You could use other ways of Tying them together, but we have access to these components. So I'm going to show you how we do it And here we have some jumpers We drop those inside I'm doing this one-handed Let me try this one more time. Oh, I'm not one-handed anymore So that those jumpers going like that and then you screw them down with the screwdriver and that connects your terminal blocks okay so we marked where we're punching our holes now for our actual power transformer so we laid it out marked it there we're also going to mark the terminal blocks and where they're going to mount to on this rail we'll punch all those out and then we'll install them all right so we've tapped the holes for our power transformer it lines up like so and the holes on this are tapped already, so we're just gonna come through the underside and tighten it down, lock it in place. All right, so now we're gonna put the holes in for the DIN rail, and what we're using is, this is a cool little set, but basically you drill the hole and then it will tap it for you at the same time. So we're gonna go ahead and put our holes there, and then we'll mount the DIN rail. That's it. 
So we'll get into more info on the DIN rail, but here's an example of the terminal block setup that we'll be using. And we'll be putting that inside our box here in just a minute. All right, so here's a quick look once the terminals are attached with the DIN rail. And you can see the next step, we're actually gonna start doing some of the wiring. And uh, later on, we'll walk through exactly what each one is and then giving it a little example while we're doing it, of course, as well. All right, so the next step on this box, I'm just gonna hook up the fan here. First, I have to cut out the hole for it, which I've marked. And then there's different ways you can do it, but I'm just gonna use my multi-tool and just cut that out real quick. All right, so I experimented with a few different methods of cutting this square out. I tried the multi-tool and I could get some better blades for that and see if that worked any better, but it was taking a little while. So then I tried a cutoff wheel and that was working maybe a little bit better as far as cutting through it, but I still wasn't really happy with it. And then I went to a jigsaw with a metal cutting blade and that actually started cutting through really nice and clean. So what I'll do is I'll just put four holes in each corner to give me a starting point and then I'll just cut it out with the jigsaw. All right, so the jigsaw worked perfectly. And now that I've got my hole there, I will just take and set my fan in. It's got little tabs, you can see in the corners here, and that will allow it, if you have a cut right, just to push it through and it will snap in. So it's gonna go something like that. That side in, and this side is waiting just to snap, just like that. All right, and then it's all the way snapped in. All right guys, this next hole, I did the same thing. I drilled four holes and then used a jigsaw, cut it out, used a file, cleaned it up, and then created just the right angles and space for everything so I can go ahead and install my meter. And so you can see this is a nice snug fit like that, and then you should be able to clip it right in. All right guys, so let me go over the wiring with you. I've said it many times in this video probably, but this is very dangerous. It could hurt you, it could kill you. Uh, don't do anything you're not comfortable with. I'm just showing you this because this channel is all about doing things yourself and I'm just showing you how I did this. Again, I'm not saying you should do this. It's dangerous, it could kill you. Here's how I did the wiring though. I've got my power coming in through the back of the box and the three wires that come in, I've got the green for ground going to the grounding terminals, the white for the neutral going to these neutral terminals, and then the black for my actual line load power line, which is coming into this fuse. So once it comes into the fuse, then that line comes out the fuse on this side and goes to the power switch right here. So this black line comes to the power switch and then the white line comes out of this power switch and goes to this next set of terminal blocks. These are all my power blocks on this side. So the white line feeds in these power terminal blocks and out the other side, there's three different wires that come out. You've got a wire for the light, a wire for the fan, and a wire that goes to the voltage regulator, which is here. So you can follow these out. So I've got one wire that comes out right here. This is powering the input to the voltage regulator. The other two wires, one is this black line that comes out over here for the light. And the last black line is the power that comes in for the fan. My fan is wired with the power in, and then it also goes to a neutral. This light over here goes to a neutral as well. And the input side of this voltage regulator is wired down to a neutral and the output side of this voltage regulator is wired to a neutral and the output side of the power goes down to this next terminal block and this next terminal block powers both the voltmeter so you can see what the voltage is as you adjust voltage regulator and the other line goes out to the pedal switch. The pedal switch power comes in and it's got a ground. 
And then the other white line that comes back out, I take to the next terminal block to power the next block. And on the output of that terminal block, where it connects, actually goes to the transformer. So on this transformer, you've got your inputs, and then you've got your hot output, which is going to my red cable. And then you have your ground, which is going to my black cable. And these other lines, I can actually cut them off in the future all the way off, but I just left them for now. They don't do anything. They were from when the microwave transformer was hooked up to the microwave itself. All you end up needing is the input sides and then this hot output. And on this other side over here, I'll show you, I have it grounded. So right there, I grounded it to the bottom of the box and the transformer, and then that ground connects back through, and it goes to these grounds. So everything that can be grounded are all grounded on these shared terminal blocks, and these shared terminal blocks are connected to the ground that comes in from the power source. And then the white line that comes in from the power source goes to my neutral blocks, and everything that has a neutral, so that would be like this light, this fan, neutrals on this voltage regulator, and the neutral on this voltmeter, the neutral on this transformer all goes to these neutral blocks. And then as I just broke down, the order of how the power all hooks up and runs through so all the systems work as needed. So I'll give you an example, let me power it up. I can adjust the voltage of what it's going to pull by turning the knob and I can activate by hitting the switch and that all runs through to my hot and my ground. So that gives you an overview of how the wiring works on this. All that's left is to button this up and put on my custom high voltage sticker. My high voltage sticker. Let's go ahead and pop this bad boy on. I'm thinking somewhere right around here. All right, so there is our custom built Lichtenberg machine with a voltage meter, safety power switch, toggle switch, running light. You got the cooling fan, the heavy duty cables for safety and protection, and a switch to power it on and off. This was a fun project. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. As always, like and subscribe, and more videos are coming. Take care.